Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to compare these two guitars, the Squire Classic Vibe 60s model and the Fender Ventera 60s model. And I'm going to let you know what I like about each one and if the upgrade to the Ventera over the Classic Vibe is worth it or not. All right, so we'll get started here with the Squire Classic Vibe. Um, this is a you know great guitar. It's you know 400, 450 something right around there, um, and you know I'm impressed. It's got it's got issues. You know the the tuners aren't great. They're greasy for some reason. Like even though you wipe them off, they're still really greasy. Um, it doesn't hold its tune very well whenever you're really kind of playing and bending it. Um, you know, I don't know. I haven't really gotten it set up, so maybe with a better setup, it would be better. Um, but you know, it's it's not bad. Um, this um, uh, what is it? Indian Laurel fretboard. It's okay. It's dry. It's you know, the and the fretwork is not great. Like they're a little sharp on the bottom. Um, you know, but the pickups sound great. Uh, it's kind of got this. Um, I don't know if this is what the Mustang Bridge or whatever they call this. It's it gets stuck sometimes, um, and the. You know this whole mechanism here is is very tight compared to uh, the other one. Um, it's very you know like extreme like this. You know which is is okay if that's what you want, but it's just not as fluid or soft as other ones I've played. Um, you know the electronics sound great, the pickups sound great. Um, they sound great with distortion or with clean. You know it's got the uh, I assume classic um, you know rhythm channel here. Um, you know, this is a great guitar for the money, and if I were on a, you know, lower budget, you know, this is certainly, you know, one that, that I would be okay with, with a setup. You know, it's, it's, it's okay, it has that Jazzmaster sound, um, and you get the feel, you know, but you can tell that it's not quite, you know, a premium instrument. I've had a lot of inexpensive instruments, and, and I've had some great ones, and I've had some crappy ones. Um, you know, this one is, is not bad considering, considering what it is. So this is the Fender Ventera 60s model. Um, this is you know, a step above the classic vibe. It's not quite as high as the original 60s model or the you know one of the professional series. Um, this is not a US made, it's made in Mexico, I believe. But this is a fantastic guitar. This is one of the better guitars that I have um, played, especially having bought it online and never having played it in person before. Uh, I really love the matching headstock that really sold me on this particular model. Uh, as well as it being a thousand dollars less than the original 60s that I was looking at, uh, but still a step up above the classic vibe, and it's certainly a step up. Like, you know, I'll start with the tuners. You know, they're they're not greasy like the classic vibe. Um, they hold their tune very very well. Um, the neck uh, feels way better as opposed to the dryness of the classic vibe. This one is very fluid and and the Powell Ferro, however you pronounce that neck on this, I really like. A lot of people, you know, have said that they don't like that compared to Rosewood, but I have several Rosewood guitars, and I really can't tell that much of a difference. Um, and I kind of like the imperfections of it. It kind of makes it, you know, um, original for me. Um, the pickups sound fantastic. They're not as hot as the Classic Vibe, which I actually like. They feel like they have a little more air in them. Um, and you know, the electronics are, are great. The switch is a better quality, I think, than the classic vibe. Um, yeah, overall, it just feels better. And the bridge is certainly better. Uh, it has more of the classic style, um, you know, multi-spacing for each individual string here, which is great as opposed to just a single on the classic vibe. Um, the um, tremolo or whammy or whatever you call this system uh, is much um, looser and nicer on this um, you know, you can have a little more nuance, and it's not so 
herky-jerky like the other one seems to be. This one is a little noisy, which I actually kind of like. It adds some nice atmosphere on the tracks sometimes, turn on some distortion and some reverb and get a nice squeak out of this, and it's you know pretty neat on a track. Also, the, the finishes available on this are, are great. This is uh, the Placid Blue or something like that, I believe it's called. Uh, the other one is supposed to be um, a Sonic Blue, but it's really more like a white. It's very, very light blue. You can barely even see it. It looks almost like the Olympic white model um, on the Classic Vibe. Um, you know, overall, this is a fantastic guitar. This is the one I'm going to keep. I'm going to send the Classic Vibe back. Uh, if I were on a budget, Classic Vibe would be great. But since I can afford a little bit more, you know, on this guitar, this is a fantastic one, and I don't feel a need to go to the next level uh, to even see what it's like. I may play one eventually, one of these days, but I'm completely satisfied with this one. So um, anyway, I'll play a little bit for you. <laughs> Thanks for watching.